The distance from the Earth to the Sun is defined as one astronomical unit, which just happens to be 1.5 times 10 to the 11th meters. If the mass of the Sun is 2 times 10 to the 30th kilograms, and the mass of the Earth is 5.97 times 10 to the 24th kilograms, what is the magnitude of force between them? Well, let me draw a little picture of what's going on here. And I did not fully succeed in filling in the sun with color, um, just because I like being myself. But I'm given in the problem the distance between the center of the sun to the center of the earth. It's defined as 1.5 times 10 to the 11 meters. As the Earth goes around the Sun, orbits around it, this would be its orbital radius. Now, technically, it's more of an ellipse, um, but it's pretty close to a circle. So that's the distance between them. I know the mass of the Sun, and I know the mass of the Earth, and I also know the value of the universal gravitational constant. So I have all I need to put together the equation for the force of gravity between these two objects. And again, the force of gravity is g times mass 1 times mass 2, divided by r squared. So just plugging in the values that I'm given, I get 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11th, times 2 times 10 to the 30th, times 5.97 times 10 to the 24th, all over 1.5 times 10 to the 11th squared. And punching that out into my trusty calculator, I end up with about 3.54 times 10 to the 22nd newtons. That's a lot of force. Except, not so much. If you look at the Earth's mass and the Sun's mass, the acceleration would actually be pretty small for, for both of them. So here's what this means. This means the Earth feels that force and the Sun feels that force. Just following Newton's third law, the force that object one exerts on object two is the same as the force object two exerts on object one. Doesn't matter if the objects are actually touching, pulling on each other, pushing on each other, whatever it may be. Or if it's just gravity, there's distance between them and it's the force of gravity, doesn't matter. If there is a force exerted by one object on another, they feel the exact same thing.